Hi there, YouTube. I'm Chris, and this will be a comparison video slash review of the two Mega Minxes that I own at the moment. This is the Diane stickerless Mega Minx with the ridges, and this is the Mefert Speed Mega Minx with stickers, which I'm not sure if you can see that, but it says Mefert's Challenge. Anyway, first of all, we're going to do a size comparison, and the Diane Mega Minx is much bigger, as you can see. And although the Diane is much bigger, the Mefferts Megaminx is actually a lot heavier. And I'll get to that in a second. Let's start with pieces. So, as you can see, the Diane pieces very similar are very similar to other Diane products like the Zanchi. And now comparison to the Mefferts, the pieces are a lot longer. Although they are longer, the Mefferts pieces are solid. The Diane pieces are actually hollow. So if I can get that apart, there we go, they are hollow. So that is why the Mefferts is a lot heavier. So now we'll go into mechanic of it. The corner edge piece for the Diane fit together like so. And there's a lot of overlap to prevent popping right in there. And there is a space in the middle to allow for less friction when moving and to allow for better corner cutting. Now onto the Mefferts. There is a small ridge on the edge and a ridge on the corner. And they allow for it to not pop out too, too easily. Although I feel like there should have been more elongated pieces as the Diane so that corner cutting would be possible. The corners are very different. On the Diane, there is a long stalk, and on the Mefferts, it's short with little ridges. Now let's put this back together and get onto the turning quality. This is very tough to put back together. There we go. Oh no. I cleaned out the Mefferts Megaminx just before making this video, and it was very, very annoying when pieces kept falling on the floor and I kept losing them. So, let me go retrieve that piece. Now, after hitting my head on the mic, we are ready to put back together the Um Efforts Challenge Megaminx. Okay. Now that both Megaminxes are now fully assembled, we'll go over turning. Efforts turning is a lot crispier. Though I find with the stickers my fingers do slip off the pieces. With the ridged Megaminx, ridged Diane Megaminx, they have fixed that. I am very happy with it, and my fingers don't slide off. And there is one problem with this. I do admit to over-lubricating it, and although the, that is the case, it still is a lot quieter than the Mefferts, and I do enjoy the turning quality a lot more. It can corner cut as the Mefferts can't. It can even reverse cut a tiny bit, as you can see. The Mefferts cannot reverse corner cut at all. But it can corner cut a little bit, as can the Diane. So overall, if you want a recommendation, I recommend the Diane Megaminx. Get the ridged version, and yeah. But, with the finger slipping off, back to that, 
Uh, I'm not sure how different it would be with a tiled Megaminx, and I might try the MF8 Megaminx later on, just to see how it works. And I cannot tell you how those would com these would compare to that yet, as I have not tried one yet. These are my two only Megaminx that I've ever tried. And, yeah. So, hope you enjoyed my video. I'd recommend the Diane. And, have a nice day. Bye.